are watching BNS News. Today's headline, Russia urges returns to wholesale digital ruble model more inside. Taiwanese crypto trading firm suspends operations following $26 million hack. OKX unveils mobile app upgrade with Yield Hunter. Mastercard taps Feedzai to fortify defense against crypto fronts. Philippines makes historic move with $270 million made in tokenized bond sale. Controversy surrounding social five platforms Spend.tech amid increasing transaction volumes. Santander's private bank introduces Bitcoin Ethereum trading for Swift clients. Spanish banking the giant launches Bitcoin and Ethereum services for customers. DTC Pay Inc.'s partnership to launch crypto payment network. Over 80 million Shiba Inu bond as lead developer suggests AI pipe. Thorchain rises to third in decentralized exchange rankings, hits $1.8 billion weekly trade volume. From Silicon Valley to Sand Dunes, Wyandens crypto form side Dubai expansion. Deputies in Russia have urged that the central bank to reconsider the introductions of a wholesale digital ruble models for interbank payments. The proposal was initially considered in a consultations report in October 2020. It was abandoned in April 2021 in favor of a retail model. The deputies argue that the returns to a wholesale digital ruble experiment in crucial. IP-based trading platforms, Kronos Research has suffered a cybersecurity breach leading to a strategic $26 million loss in crypto sets. The hack was first reported by the crypto on-chain Sleuza XBT, mapping out the fund outflow and confirming its magnitude. A large cryptocurrency exchange and Web3 technology businesses, OKX, upgraded its mobile app on November 20, 2023. This Pioneering versions includes Yield Hunter, a basic but strong options trading application. This wise action allows consumers flexibility to manage market conditions and maybe enhance returns. Mastercard is intensifying its fight against cryptocurrency fraud by teaming up with Feedzai, a regulatory technology platform known for its prowess in combating online financial scams through artificial intelligence. In a recent interview with the CNBC, MasterCard confirmed the collaboration. The Philippines has successfully sold to $70 million worth of its maiden tokenized treasury bonds, according to a Bloomberg report. The tokenized bonds due in November 2024 with a 6.5% coupon rate garnered immense interest from investors. Additionally, the government of a Philippines has been lead lauded for showing efforts to embrace digital technology in the bond market. Social Fi, a prominent player in the world of cryptocurrency, has recently drawn attention due to the surge in transaction volumes and activities on its platforms. The transactions volume surpassing $10 million has raised suspicious Within the industry, industry journalist Colin Wu has highlighted these concerns. Santander's private banking international is part of the Spanish financial services giant Banco Santander's is offering high net worth clients in Switzerland trading and investing in the major cryptocurrency bitcoins and ether, according to an internal announcement seen by Coindesk. The subsidiary of the Spanish financial services giant Banco Satin Santander. Santander. The subsidiary of the Spanish financial services giant Banco Santander has announced that it would launch Bitcoin and Ethereum services for its customers.